Hey guys. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? We've got our first day of doodle night. How y'all doing? Who's up here? Oh, we've got some folks, Daryl, Aiden, Rocket Season. Good to see you, good to see you. Let me get this up here quick. Sorry, oh, there's my arm. Um, thanks for all being here so early already. Aiden here early, love it. Love it. Let me get this going here. Hot dogs or arms? Hot dogs, very pale hot dogs. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Stitch, you guys, we're drawing Stitch today. Are you excited? I'm telling ya. It's gonna be really easy, I promise. Who else we miss in here? Who else didn't I say hi to? Charles, Acid, hello, hello. You probably don't remember me, but I'm a big fan. I'm wondering veteran, get out of here. You know, you know. New show who dis, exactly guys. New show who dis is right. Um, we're done, Stitch. This is my like very like, low budget setup like this is a lamp my camera's attached to it i put a sticker here so you guys can't see it no wandering don't go you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about um thanks though i'm glad you guys like it isn't it weird that i'm small up here i feel like it's weird let me get like big for just one little second so i can just say hi to all y'all how y'all doing <laughs> hello hello Welcome to the studio. Let's get me back there. Boop. We're drawing Stitch. We're doing it drawing though, um, because I think drawing is way more accessible and less intimidating and, you know, the whole shebang. Um, I, yeah, I just hope there's a lot of you trying at home. Like you got a piece, this is like literally a piece of computer paper. Um, I use mechanical pencils, but uh, any pencil works. I just have to push a lot harder so that you guys can see it. Um, my quality has really improved. With, oh, thanks. Like, thank you, good sir. <laughs> hey, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I got some pals helping me out. Um, uh, we're just trying to make some cool stuff. I love streaming, so we're trying to make something out of it, right? Like, it seems like you guys enjoy it with me too. I don't know. Um, will this be on YouTube later? Yeah. I do put them all on YouTube, but I do really want you guys to come live. It's so much more fun. There's lots of people in here. Everyone's drawing them that we can see all of our like different little stitches out there. Um, next, a frame for my camera. Ooh. Usually I don't do, I usually I'm not this little guy up here. Usually it's still the normal like full screen where my painting and me are in it. Um, this is just something a little different. Who said, hey, oh, hey, hey to ass Hi guys. Oh, I have the wrong, mm, right, look at me go. We're drawing Stitch today and I think it still says what we were doing yesterday. You know me guys, just always doing things last minute. Story of my life. Okay. Tay, Tay, skis. You guys should be impressed with the things that I have been accomplishing on this computer. I'm not a digital gal, okay? Doodle. <laughs> nice. I also can't multitask, apparently. Step by step, draw a stitch. Draw a stitch with me. There we go. Hello, oob. Oob. E W B or oob. There we go. So my title changed now. Have I become fully ready 10 minutes into the stream? <laughs> Just kidding. One. It's only been four minutes. Wow, time's flying. EWB then, okay, perfect. All right, you guys, let me find my little stitch here so that I can look at a reference. I highly recommend everyone drawing along to either screenshot the stitch at the bottom here or just Google stitch and find the picture. It's always very helpful to have, oh, she got blurry for a second. It's always very helpful to have the reference photo. I don't have to leave my hand here for it to focus have the reference photo to look at so then maybe like what you learned today with me you can move forward into another painting or another drawing or something that you will do on your own you know 
Okay, my PC is just having a time. Am I lagging? You guys hear me? You see me? Let's get this guy. I'm good. Beautiful. Oh, hello, Dresden. Hello, 361 Dub. Good to see you guys. My uh, PC is just having a mental breakdown here, so we're just going to go for it. That's fine. Okay. Sorry, it's blurry. Once I get my hands there, I won't be. Come on, little guy. Yeah, the blurry, yeah, that's the story of my life here. I have to, like, leave. I forgot last time I have to leave my hand here where it's, like, looking for nothing, right? Okay, so, you guys, I did, I was not feeling working on my actual job last night. So, I did, I had time to whip up our little doodle here, our little outline on the side. Hello, Nikki, our Ontario gal. Thanks for stopping by. Or drawing along. Are you going to draw stage two? Literally all you guys need is a pencil, a paper, and an eraser. Okay? You can color them if you want at the end, but it's not really a necessity. Um, I can show that after. I think last time when we did the Satan, <laughs> the South Park Satan, which you'll always find, also find on my YouTube channel. Um, everyone wanted me to color it, so I colored them at the end. Some people, you can take this drawing, you can paint it after if you want. Like, I'm just trying to show you how to look at something and break it down into shape and draw something that you never thought you could draw. Okay? What am I missing here? Acid saving the broadcast. A uh, thank you. And Justin with the props. There's a lot of props I missed there. You guys spoiling me. Okay, Charles saying, turn my camera on manual, focus not automatic. Remember how I said, like, I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm gonna have, to, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Last time I think it worked okay once I just started drawing. Correct, if it's a nuisance, if it's the biggest nuisance of all time, we'll get an IT guy in here, okay. All right. So, what are the usual things, you guys? Trust the process, don't give up, because I promise you that it'll turn out like a little stitchy at the end if you just draw these shapes that I whip up on here for you. And ask me questions, just like my good old start symbol thing started. Ask me questions. It could be helpful to people watching at home who are too nervous to ask, or people watching on YouTube later who don't, oh, I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh, my computer is just, PCs scare me, you guys. There's just pop up. I don't know what's happening. But um, you'll help people in the long run, so never be afraid to ask questions. And let's just get started, okay? Yeah, it's, it's the world's just, I always have a hard time. If you guys have just been watching my YouTube videos, you'd see back to back me just like struggling. <laughs> but literally, there's just like pop up after pop up after pop up coming up on my PC, and I have no idea why. Please stop. Please stop. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. I was going great for everyone, and then I started lagging. I don't know if you guys can see my face, but it's annoyed. <laughs> okay. It looks like the pop-ups have stopped. You guys might hear my voice before my actions, but um, that's all I got for now. It's going to be like... One of those like dubbed movies. Hello, Anthony. You're here, Lisa. Daryl, thank you. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. Here I am gabbing away as usual. We're 10 minutes in. That's usually when I start. So let's get going, okay? We've got a paper. Whatever size it might be, it's gonna be the, can I paint with the same outlines? Yes, you totally can paint. It's just a little bit more detailed. Um, when I do it the drawing way, so that's it though. If you want to paint it 9,000%, go for it. Okay, ready you guys? Remember, acknowledge your whole space, your whole paper. If you want, you can draw them really small, but I would suggest to give yourself a little bit more room to paint them a little bit bigger because then you can put more details in there and it's a little bit easier in my opinion, my personal opinion, okay? 
Let's do it. Acknowledge where your page is. I'm going to have to just make a little line to see where the camera shows. So I have to draw my stitch in those lines. For some people, it might literally help for you to make a square of how and where you want your stitch, like how big do you want your stitch to be. I would suggest to be drawing very lightly with your pencil. I'm going to have to push a little bit harder so that you guys can see. But it is easiest, just like when we do the painting, like when you water down your paint a lot. Same idea, right? Super light because we're going to be erasing all those little lines that we don't need. Okay? So, I've got that little square where I'm going to draw my little stitchy. It's totally okay if you go out of the line sometimes. Who cares? It's fine. And let's start with just a head, okay? So I'm going to draw a circle. See how I'm like doing so many outlines until I get the perfect circle, okay? What I think is the perfect circle. It's totally okay if it's messy. My guy's ears are probably going to come out of this square, but what can you do? So see like, okay, I did it like 40 times and I think... If we grab my eraser and we erase all these inside lines, then you're left with a nice circle, right? Because it is very borderline impossible to draw a nice circle perfect, okay? So it's totally okay if it's going to be messy and you have to darken up some lines around the outsides, but roughly, look, there's a circle. Okay? Easy. Right, you guys? How easy was that? Now let's go to his little body. We've got just a square. Or maybe a rectangle. It's probably more of a rectangle. Let's just... Beep. We've got, like, a South Park character right now, basically. Remember, you're looking at this picture. Oh, wait, where am I? Down here. You're looking at this picture right underneath me here. And when you're drawing these shapes, you're going to look at that picture and see kind of why I'm choosing these shapes or kind of try to feel out where we're going with this, okay? So we've got a head. We've got a little square body. Cool. Move that out of way. Okay. And he's kind of like waving out to the side, right, with his cutie little hand. Let's just draw a little bean. Oh, I have to draw a little darker so you guys can see. Oh, Justin Quick with the cutie jar. Sweet angel. How's that for a little bean? See, I left a little space there. Doesn't matter if you don't. Oh my god, all of you guys coming in with the cutie jars. Thanks, guys. Oh my gosh, all of you, stop. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> okay. We've got a bean over there. Am I right, folks? Now let's come to the side over here because he's got kind of like that sassy little hand on the hip, right? Let's do another bean. It might be a little bit smaller, but it's coming out the side a little bit. It's the top half of <laughs> Stitches the Sim. <laughs> um, it's coming off the top side of his little shoulder. Okay. And then let's get that sassy little hand in there. We're going to start at the bottom of our bean. It's going to be a little bit bigger, okay? Just a touch bigger than the little bean. But again, easy. Look, it's so messy. Like, I'll bring it closer. Look how, like, look how messy it is. Don't worry about it. That's the biggest thing I stress in all the tutorials because I know that people take things very precious and they don't want to ruin it and they don't want to mess it up and that usually makes you mess it up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break the rule. I mean, to break the news to you, but that usually is set up for failure. So don't treat your piece precious. Be messy with it. Figure out shapes, figure out lines, and you'll get something cool at the end, okay? Oh, Lily's back with an evil stitch, you guys. I don't know if you remember. We did South Park Satan because of Lilith herself. She loves doing evil things. So today she's going to be switching up our stitch into Satan version. And I'll be sharing that with you guys. Don't worry. Okay. 
We've got little stitch. We've got some beans going. You can even put a little ball at the end of that bean if you want. Look, there's a hand. So I did not draw that stitch. Oh, well, I drew this stitch. Oh, the right, like, oh, you mean like the little, do the outline? I did. I did do that outline. Yeah. That I did. Just because it's helpful. Like, even... Look at this, even more. I don't know how well you guys can see, but if I turn this on, do you guys, like, watch the little stitch. I put the outline on top of him so that you can see exactly where I'm going with it. Do you guys see that? So I always want you guys to try to, like, understand why I'm doing what I'm doing so that you can move it forward and draw other stuff for yourself when I'm not around. Okay? Oh, Hannah, hello, Kenzie. My fave gal has made it into the chat. Okay, look at that. He looks like a little superhero already. Like, da 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 da. Beautiful. Now, where are we? More beans. Okay, let's do a little leg down here. They're shorter and fatter beans, okay? Just little and chubby. Maybe an egg. Maybe that would be easier. We're doing an egg, okay? Um, and then on this other side, let's do another egg. Guys, I really hope people that come and hang out all the paint nights and that they don't paint because they don't have paints, I hope that you're drawing today. Are you? <laughs> Kenzie, woke up from an accidental nap, accidental nap just in time. I love that. Both, I love accidental naps and that you made it in time. Okay, so we got some eggs coming out the bottoms of his little square. You can even probably make this one come outside a little bit more than I drew it. How was that? And then literally we're just drawing circles like little elephant feet almost in a sense, right? So let's go like one circle, two circle. Three circle, four circle. Boom. Bada boom, bada bang. Am I right? And then let's go over here. We've got one circle, two circle, three, and then a fourth. And I am just like following the base shape of that little egg that we made. Okay. I'm really close to the mic today, so we can do some ASMR. <laughs> okay we've got it we've got the base shape literally you can turn this you know what this is actually <laughs> just <laughs> <Give me those sauces. laughs> if my friend Christian was here we got stuck on ASMR video where a woman like opened a jar of pickles and like ate a pickle I don't know I just couldn't handle it okay we're just getting off track here sorry guys um <laughs> okay where are we at um, this is reminding me, other than his little, like, creature feet, he's very similar to, um, what are those comics? Do you remember those comics that are, like, fun? <sighs> oh my gosh. It's gonna come to me. Or hopefully one of you guys, because usually you guys think of things before I do. Um, Cyanide Happiness. Boom, Flamingo. Also, hello, Flamingo. Coming in, saving the day, as usual. Okay, let's do it. We have got a head. We've got those arms. Now let's draw his cute little head, okay? It's just a circle at the end of that bean again. And I, like, see how I'm overlapping it a little bit? It's not at the end. It's kind of overlapped a little. Important. Okay. I might have made this arm a little long, but eh, what can I do? And now let's go. One. Two, three, and a four. Uh, 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 uh. Staying alive. You're right, he is totally staying alive. Okay. How are we doing? I know I'm going a little fast, but I feel like with pencil it is a little bit easier to go a little fast. Look at this crazy hair. She's just like alfalfa sprouting out of there. Okay, we've got his cutie little head. 
And it's gonna feel a little weird, you guys. And I know for people who've not drawn before, it might feel a little weird, but we're gonna start by just doing an angled down line, okay? Because you see, when you look at his face, it's at, oops, I'm opposite on here now. It's at an incline like this, right? His left eye is higher than his right eye. So it's kind of on an angle, so that's why we want to put this angle like so. Just a line to show us. Oh, you guys are so quick on the cutie, like I literally didn't even notice I said <laughs> Okay, they don't disco dance in the movie. I think they Elvis dance more, which is the same. Yeah. Yeah, Stitch loves Elvis. <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> okay. So we've got that line down the middle, and that's just going to help us angle things better later, okay? And then you can either just make a straight line down, or you can curve it with the shape of your circle. But again, we're doing it not, it's not going to be in the middle, we're doing it on the side, okay? Beep, beep. I'm teaching you guys some good old drawing basics. If you place these shapes down, like you're pla like plating out, plating out, planning out the circle maybe? And it kind of really helps you lay out all the rest of the face. Is Lilo and Stitch my favorite Disney movie? It's, yeah, Justin's quick there. Pi Up is my favorite movie, but I consider Pixar and Disney not the same, even though they are, even though Disney owns Pixar. Um, I do have an up tattoo. Oh, it's going to be awkward for me to show it. <laughs> but, uh, and yes, Kenzie's right. Kenzie and I both on different Halloweens before we knew each other, we both dressed up as Russell from, <laughs> very proud of that costume. Um, my favorite Disney movie though. I love that Kenzie that we both, yours was way better. You were way better at it. Um, Russell is, don't you worry guys, I've saved so many characters and Disney Pixar, like Disney Pixar and like some Nintendo characters that we will be drawings on Tuesdays. Don't worry. Um, I was going to do Carl and Russell first. Sorry to you guys who I told on my last live that we would be doing those today. Um, I just thought, yes, cartoon people are easier than real people, but they're still harder. So I thought, let's start with like a character like Monsters, Inc. Oh my God, we're for sure going to do Scully and um, Mike Wazowski. I still don't know what my favorite Disney movie is, you guys. It used to be Dumbo, like the original Dumbo and then the remake Dumbo. Don't, don't even watch it. <laughs> Okay, we've got his cutie little face, all right? We're gonna start by coming down from our center line and we're just gonna draw that mouth on there first. And again, you're gonna follow this angle of this line that we made, but you're gonna go to the top of his mouth and you're just gonna draw it straight down and you're even gonna come over a tiny bit. He kinda looks like a Ninja Turtle now. <laughs> Dressed in your so good. See, now you guys are going to think that I'm just saying it because I want you to give me props, but I swear I'm not. Uh, okay. See how I just came over? Like, the original circle is right here, and I just came over the edge to give him, like, a little lippy. Yours is a tie between Little Mermaid and Aladdin. Mm, well, that's... It is a hard choice. Oh, my gosh. Acid. Same. 900%. I forgot about the Goofy movie. And same. I can probably quote the whole thing. Oh my god, I love it! Love it. Cody rocks! Hello, Cody! You rock! <laughs> Welcome to... Drawing Stitch. I'm just like getting distracted talking about Disney movies though. Okay. We, uh, mine is Beauty and the Beast, cartoon only, Buddha live action. See, I know, they try really hard for live actions. Lion King did very good, I think, because it's basically the exact same. Um, but some live actions, they struggle. Okay, so we drew that line, and we're just going to bring it up a little bit, because he's smiling. See, he looks like a squirtle, actually, right now. Okay. And then, let's bring that line down, and you're going to follow. You're going to come, like, whatever. What is that? What amount of space is that? You're just going to follow the shape of the bottom of the circle that you already drew, okay? Play keep away from the bottom of that line. I'll show you better. Sorry, I'm just shaky. So we came on down, and we are about whatever. Is that a couple of like millimeters? 
<laughs> above the original circle we did. So you're kind of drawing in his lip already, if you see that there. What am I missing here? You're streaming right now, Cody. What do you stream? Oh my gosh, Putin Uni. Wait and Stitch and the Putin Uni have the same body. <laughs> you guys kill me. Okay. We've got a little mouth. And now we've got this square, right? We've got that nice line on his face. And we're just gonna use that to go around. Sorry, I just have to. Perfect. Um, we are gonna use that cross that we have here. That's about the placement of where we wanna put his nose. It might be easier for some people to do like a straight circle first. And then you can widen it out at the top a little bit because it's not a perfect circle. It's kind of almost like a dog nose. Whoop. You might want to even like bring it a little bit closer to his mouth, whatever works. And remember, you can always erase all of this madness that we've done. So I have this like special eraser. It's kind of cool. It's like a, it's for, little tiny spaces so you can kind of go in there like this but if you don't have one of those at home you can literally cut sorry children maybe ask your parents first if there's kids in here <laughs> but you can with a scissor cut the end of your rule eraser it's not a ruler um into a point and that kind of helps you get into the good spots I just ate a potato you forgot about it. oh you're like a potato you forgot about in the cupboard for a few months you mean you have a nice big tree growing out of your head? Because <laughs> I found a lot of those little patats the other day at ours. <laughs> yeah, these erasers are the best. I'm sorry that I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm just great at advertising, aren't I? Pointed eraser? I don't know. But handy. It's like a mechanical eraser in a sense. All right, so we've got a nose in there. We've got a little mouthy. Right, right, so far so good. And now let's come to the side of his face and we are going to use most of this area. And we're gonna draw a nice big oval here too. It's totally okay too if you go over the circle a little bit, but we've got a nice little oval coming. It looks like he has a huge eye. He's looking into a cutie cutie. I don't know what he is right now. It doesn't look like Stitch, but he's pretty cute. All right, so we got a big old eye. Don't worry, this isn't his eyeball. We're just copying where that light blue spot of his head is. And then on this side too, we're a little bit smaller because his head's a little bit to the side, but you're still just drawing the same oval. Coming about down right up to his lip. And again, it's totally okay if you bring that long skinny oval up and above that circle. I don't think this is not copyrighted. Next. Dead Mouse 5. <laughs> oh my god. Justin. Did I say it that many times? <laughs> Literally not on purpose. It's not my fault that just everything is just that word. <laughs> okay. How's that? Ta -da. Pretty cute. I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't get the last two letters in there. Okay. We're going to come up from this little oval we made, and it's still going to be on the left-hand side of our center line that we made, even though it's not in the center, but that center line. Let's give him some hair tufts. So we're going to come up. It's basically just like a triangle. Let's do another triangle. And then just another little bean if you want. So cute, his little hairs. Running low. The, don't give them all to me. You have given me more than I could ever ask for. He does look like Dead Mouse, hey? All right, so we've got a cute, <laughs> didn't drop the E, uh, uh, little hair tuff. 
We've got his nose, we've got a mouth, we've got where his eyeballs are going to go. Right? Feeling okay? Are you guys like sending it? Have we? Let me see, has anyone been sending in any pictures? I wanna see what your stitches look like so far. Okay, but we'll continue. So we have got his little ear. We're gonna go, again, that line is kind of helpful that we did right across. We're gonna go right below it, and we are gonna just do a little smidgen of a line, kinda, it's kinda peeking up a little bit. And same on this side, a little smidgen of a line. Beep, beep. And you're gonna come back into the middle of those two lines, and let's Pull the line, you kind of curve with the follow of, or curve to match up with the top of the little line we made, and just make that come all the way straight up. Whoop. Sound effects necessary. You can even make that line longer if you want. All right, and we're gonna come down here. I'm just gonna top off those two shapes. See how it almost looks like a petal. And we're gonna bring it all the way up. Whoop. Oops, you guys can't even see. All the way up, we're gonna curve it at the top. For some people it might literally be easier to just draw like a full oval like this. Might be easier and then you can match it up at the bottom. Because how I did it, and I, but I kind of felt like as I was drawing it that it would be a little bit more difficult for people. I just did the oval first. Oops. <laughs> as I mess it up. Always remember that he's on this angle, right? So everything on the left-hand side should be a touch taller than what's on the right-hand side. So when you're doing, like if this is the height of where your first ear is, then maybe this will be the height of where your second ear is. So you would even start it lower on his head, right? Go a little bit lower than that little line we already used. And you're just gonna curve him up. And once you get to the top of the line, you can curve it back down. But again, that might be not as easy for people. Maybe you wanna just do a full oval and then point it at the bottom. And then you just match up these lines. Beep. Beep. How's that? We've got a little dead mouse, literally. He does look like dead mouse, Justin. How's it feeling? How's our stitches feeling? My water belt. Oh, she's empty. All right. He's basically almost finished, you guys. Okay, where have to, where do we go now? Let's draw in his eyeballs. So again, it's going really well. Ah, Elle, that's what I like to hear. Okay, so what do we want? We want an eyeball. So his eyes aren't perfectly circled, but again, I'm trying to think of what's probably best for everybody. And I think drawing just a little circle would probably be the best start. So again, acknowledge where our lines are. His eyeball is at the bottom half of this big oval egg we drew before. Oops, and look at my brain just drew it ovally anyway. But you can draw that as a circle if you want. Stitch is looking very approachable. Mm -hmm. That's what we like it. Um, I could have drew the evil stitch where he had multiple arms and everything, but I thought, hey, if I teach the normal one, then you guys will know how to draw more arms and everything too. So we'll go from there. I just thought he was just so friendly. Anthony's out. Good night, Anthony. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. Okay, so we got that one circle eye and then same over here. 
Remember, we want it to be a little bit lower than this eyeball. And it can be a little bit smaller too if you want. I know there's like some perspective in here and it's kind of jerky of me to try to be teaching you guys that. Um, I'm trying to teach it to you the simplest way without giving you, you having to go to years of perspective drawing classes. <laughs> okay. okay. So since we made those just circles, but his eyes are more ovally, now that you have this circle, you can literally start at the bottom, you follow it up, you kind of bring it out, if that makes sense. And then same at this top, you go and then you match up to meet that line and see how now it's a nice eyeball shape already on that one top part. And then same on this side, you can make it come to a point a little bit better. That's dope. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. Mel Flint. I'm teaching you guys how to do it. Every Tuesday, okay? Every Tuesday, Tuesday, actually, sorry. <laughs> um, we're gonna be drawing cutie characters of any type. Disney, Pixar, Nintendo. I know before I called it Disney Doodle Day, but then I'm like, oh, I've already got in trouble with Disney for copyright. Maybe I probably shouldn't use their names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on this side too, it's okay if it's rounded on the back end, but you can bring it down to a little point there, okay? And then guess what? He just has one circle in his eye, a nice little reflecty on both sides. And then totally up to you if you want to color that in right now or not. You can do that later. You've got on left, but no, the word did not escape you. Dresden, please, you have given me more than I could ever, ever ask for. So please don't feel like you have to. Okay, just breezing through. Hey, no problem, thanks for hanging out. Okay, you guys, so we have our stitch coming together. Oh my god, acid. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just calling you acid, by the way. I hope that's okay. My guy's looking a little off on this part. So just, we'll fix that later. Okay. He's got some eyeballs that are nice and oval. Where do we go from here? We go to his little mouth. Okay. The tongue's gonna feel a little weird, probably, but it's fine, you're gonna do great. We are gonna start a little ways down inside of his mouth here. And let's just bubble up to the top and come down. Boop. See that? Remember that drawing lightly is probably gonna be your friend right now if you're drawing with a pencil. I'm drawing a little bit harder so that you guys can actually see it. Um, but literally, when I draw by myself, like I would be, oh, you can't even see that. I would probably be drawing at least this light, right? Hello. So then you can erase things easily. And at the end, you do a nice dark outline on top, okay? I wish I could be playing music from Lilo and Stitch right now. So we drew that line, whoop, and just came down. Now you're gonna start about halfway through that down line, and same thing, you're gonna bubble up, maybe not all the way to the top, and you're gonna come down. Justin is very right, that's probably, I should have explained that better, because that's totally what I meant. Um, at the end, you're gonna have all these messy lines, but you can, with a pen, go over and draw on that lines nice, and then once your pen dries, erase all the pencil underneath as well. That is also an option. Justin with the assist. Um, okay. So we did that cutie little tongue. And you can even right here on the left-hand side too, just do like a little bump. Kind of mocking that same shape. Just a little bumpy. So I will be, yeah, I can add color. I can paint. I wasn't like, it, I didn't want people to stress out if they didn't have colors at home, so I didn't like advertise it as that. Um, but yeah, 100% I'll add color at the end. So we got that little tongue in there, right? And that's like pretty easy. That's all we really needed about it. You could have even brought it farther out to the side if you wanted. Okay. 
And then let's add his little teeth in there. So let's start on the far right side of his mouth and let's just come in a little bit and you're just gonna draw a triangle pointing down. Well, that's easy, isn't it? And then we can also go, it's kind of right underneath his eye here. Let's draw another rectangle. You want these two to kind of be the same. And look, we're just going to erase. You don't have to erase it now, but I'm just showing you guys. You can erase all these lines at the end. You see, once you start erasing those lines that we set to place things out, things just start falling into place. Love my new finger tats. Aw, thanks. So do I. I'm pumped on them, too. They didn't heal the greatest because I use my hands too much. <laughs> but um, I'm very happy with them. Beep. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like them too. Uh, okay, where are we? We do the two top little teethies. And on the bottom, he has four. It's really not that big of a deal, like how you place them, where you place them. But oops, <laughs> as I erase what I just did. Um, here's one. And let's make the second one inside a little bit smaller. And I think same thing. The next one's a little bit smaller. And the next one is as big as the first one on the outside that you drew. Meet, meet, meet. We should all do it next time. Work from home supplies. <laughs> you guys, honestly, that's what I mean. This one's way easier for people to um, do at home. You don't have to like, get paint and like that's expensive and stressful. But this one, we've got a little more, it's a little easier, a little more achievable for people. Okay, we've got that going. And now we basically just gotta fill out or shape out his stomach and we'll start erasing some lines, okay? So we are gonna come down maybe just a little bit under that little lumpy we made in his tongue. See where I'm at here? And we are gonna start shaping his body a little bit because his body is rectangular when you look at it, but it's not sharp like that, right? We want the square to use as a basis or whatever, as a um, starting point to work off of. But then we're gonna shape it a little bit into his soft little body, okay? So like I said, I came under that little lump in his tongue and I'm coming down. Like he kind of has like a little bit of a chesty and then we're gonna come in a little bit and bubble that line down. So you see how I use the shape of the square to follow it, but I'm just shaping it a little bit differently to give him a little more of his soft roundness. And look, I went right over top that egg we made down here and that's okay. Same with the bottom. We're going to come up kind of where that line went and you're just going to kind of bubble it a little bit so it's not as sharp as a bottom. See how we just kind of curve it up a little bit? Right? You've been waiting for his little gut. <laughs> yes. I love that. Okay. So he's got his little chesty. It comes down a little bit. And now we're going to go on the outside. And we're still, see his rectangle square here, but it's, remember he's sassy. He had a little hip to the side, right? So we're gonna bring it out a little bit. It's got a little booty dough. Again, this is where the rectangle is, but I've brought it out a touch. Body by nuggets. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. And we are gonna just go. Now we got that egg. And we're gonna bring that egg around. Okay. And now just, you, you can erase this too if you want, or you can wait till the end. I'm just going to do it so that you guys can see what I'm doing here. But see that? Like, look, all the lines are gone, and now you're just getting the nice shape of his little booty dough. <laughs> dough, both ways. Booty dough or booty dough, O-U-G-H. Okay. <laughs> And then his bottom, maybe you're going to have to erase a little bit of the egg we originally drew. Maybe it has to come in a little bit. I don't know. 
because all of our shapes aren't going to be the same, right? So, now we're just adding everything. We're just kind of cleaning some stuff up. Like, now we're going to go around his little feeties. Right? Do you see how I'm using the original circles that we drew? Beep. To trace around them and make them one shape, kind of, right? Oops, I just kicked everything. Okay. Now what do we got here? Let's make his other little sassy leg. Come down and around. I'm just gonna bring this in a touch. Does that make sense? See, here's our original egg, and I curved it in a little bit to make it look like his leg is stretching over into that di direction. Okay, and then again, trace around those circles that we drew. Kind of attach them all at the bottom and to make them one foot. Is that kind of... Are you going to zoom in, camera? Can you do it? See what I mean? They were all the original circles, but now I just kind of lightly added them or attached them together with that line on the bottom. Is he wearing a necklace or is that chest hair? 100% that's chest hair. We can make it a necklace, so if you want. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> okay, so how's this little body coming? That's pretty cute. And so remember, you can, if you want, you can start cleaning up those lines too. Again, not a big deal if you don't. The painter, you're just going to be painting over top of these things. Snicky, if you're still painting. You don't really erase. That's the beauty of painting. You just kind of paint right over top of these lines. Because you should be doing your good old chocolate milky consistency. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Okay. Okay, okay. Now he has, not only his chest hair, his stomach is a different color than his body. So we're just going to draw where that is going to go. So again, come in, whatever, maybe let's go right underneath that last tooth that we drew. And we're going to kind of curve in a little bit because we're following the shape of this little rectangle. What do you call it, Justin? Body by Nuggets? <laughs> by Chicken Nuggets? Okay. So see how I'm following, like why I came around in a curve because I'm following this shape that we already made of his body, okay? And then on the other side, you're not going to come so much far out because he's turned that way. Same how we're seeing more of this eye than that eye. We are going to be seeing more of the stomach color than the outside color. So we're not going to leave that much space. And you're just going to follow the shape of the body again until you come down and match up with that original line that you drew. Little hippie chest hairs. How's that? I can actually probably get rid of this outline, hey? You guys know so. Okay. Should we do his chest hair right now? Yeah, okay. It's literally just little ovals. Like, let's just make like a little tiny bean. Oh, you guys can't even see it. Bean. And out of that bean comes a longer bean that kind of bends down a little bit. And then just one more at the bottom. There's that little hippie chest hair. Bean, bean, bean. I always call them beans. Maybe those are carrots. Maybe they're more carrot-esque here. All right. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Looking good. Uh, thank you. I'm excited to see what your guys are looking like at home. Have I got any scent in yet? Oh, we've got some. Okay, I'll show them in a sec. All right. So we had this big arm bean up here, right? And we had a little bit of space between him and his body. We're just going to curve that out. It's kind of like his little armpit. Just a little quick curve lineup. And the beauty of his arm, it's not really just the oval that we did. It does kind of bow out. It gets a little fatter at the end. But we're still, we have this oval as our base point. 
and we're going to come to the wrist line that we even created with this crease between the circle and the oval, right? And we're just going to bow it out a little bit and come back down. Just bow him out a little bit more. It's a little bit bigger on the top than it is at the bottom. So you see how I used that same shape that we're already using. I just bowed him out a little. He just went to the gym arm day, that's all. Okay? And now this might help to erase it for you to see it a little bit better, but you can erase that line between the circle and you can erase some of these lines to make his little fatty arm. Right? Okay? You've got that, but it's a wing from Too Many Carbs. <laughs> Don't even talk to me about the arm flap. What movie is that? When she's like, what is this? What is this? The sweetest thing. That's what it is. Okay. We erase that line, but you're still going to bring it over just a tiny bit to show some overlap. I wish I could show you guys. Um, oh, it's White Chicks too. I think it's both, isn't it? It is White Chicks. I can remember that girl. But I remember Christina Applegate doing it too. I love that woman. Um, I wish what I was talking about here with this little wrist. When you do this fold over, I think it's so cute. It just shows how chubby he actually is. And I wish I could show you guys a picture of my nephew. Where he had like, like it literally looked like he just had a, a ponytail on his little chubby wrist because they're so over -rolly. Okay, so we've got that there. And now kind of same thing as we were doing before. We're going to use these circles that we have drawn, but we're just going to square them out a little bit more. They're almost round, but when we draw our outline line around them, you are going to square it off a little bit. Does that make sense? Do you guys see how that's happening there? I don't have like good zoom in version here, but does that... Can you see the little circles underneath and how I use those to make the square? And then guess what? His nails are literally just little like bananas. The thumb always will curve inwards and then all these other ones will curve outwards or maybe vice versa, sorry. Maybe that makes the thumb will go outwards and the other nails will kind of a little bit point towards Stitch himself. Okay. And then he just has a little square in there, basically. I made this arm a little long, but y'all get the point. That's fine. Okay? Very strong. Very big arms. <laughs> okay, and now let's come over here and let's do this little arm bean. You can stick out his elbow a little bit more, and then that's how you attach the two. Remember that we had a bean here and a bean here, so you're just going to follow the first one a little bit outwards and follow the second one until that line matches up to make a little elbow. You might even need to bring his oval, the original oval down a little bit more if you need. I don't know. You can play that by ear. And then let's curl this other arm. It was basically done for us fully, but the main difference is out of this ball that we made at the bottom, we're just going to do two little banana nails. They're not like super sharp or anything. And the thing that'll make this arm look more realistic is you erase, obviously. these connector lines check that sass out Boop. see i made this arm a little beefy too but that's okay you can redraw that outline of that oval that we originally did at the bottom to keep that curve in there How's about them apples? Oh, 
Okay, that's it. You guys, we basically have Stitch. There's like, maybe your eye. I don't feel when I look at that, maybe his eye is not the perfect shape. You can just build off that a little bit more. Okay, so the main thing that we have to do right now before we go into more details, we are literally coming to an end before I gotta color him, is to go in and erase some of those lines that we don't need anymore, right? So if you start with a box that, look, I obviously broke out of, but that's okay. Sometimes giving yourself just a border or an outline helps you from drawing too big and going off the page completely. But I am just gonna go through and erase things I don't want. And the only thing, like you know how we were talking about earlier about draw with an outline with a pen and then erase underneath it is that's some pens don't handle erasers well. So I highly, highly suggest testing that out first. Let's see, you can go in there and erase some of those extra little lines that are making it messy. Is there an eraser for men? <laughs> Can't see. You kill me. Hey, we might need to make one. <laughs> and up here, remember we went over the circle a little bit, so maybe let's erase that line. Stitch. We don't need that center line down his head. Again, that's just a really rough eraser job at the moment. just to clean it up and see what else we gotta do before we go into coloring it or shading it. Maybe I'll teach you guys how to shade it. All right, so. All right, so he does have some cutie little eyebrows. So you're gonna pretend like you're drawing this oval, but just a little bit smaller than the top line. And you're just gonna color that in just to be a little bit of a thicker line. Doesn't go all the way to the top. There's an eyebrow. Kind of like if anybody here did the baby Yoda, they have that cute little eyebrow raise. It's a little bit over top of his little bubbled head. Okay. And then we go to his nose and we do the nose details. He's really like a dog nose, right? So you're basically just gonna start whatever halfway up the side of his nose. We're gonna come up and just like immediately go down. <laughs> and on this other side, it's a little bit smaller because it's on the, he's turned, right? So we're seeing more of the left side than the right side. So that little curve is a little bit smaller. Just color that baby in there. Whoop. Same with the eyebrow on this one. You're just like whatever, a millimeter underneath the original oval that you've drawn and just darken up one little line. Okay, on top of his nose too for some more little detail points. It's just got a couple little cutie wrinkles and they just, the lines get smaller as you go. Try to, it's like how I always say keep away. So you're keeping away from the nose, but you're following the curve of this nose that we've already drawn, right? And then on top of it, same call, following the same curve. And you can even, if you want, just put another one up there, but check that cute little wrinkly nose out. Okay? 
Is that basically it, hey? Is that Stitch? You guys. Okay, so if you haven't colored his eyes in yet, I totally drew that circle a little low. See, this is the beauty of pencils too. You just erase whatever you want. And then cover in those eyeballs. You can do one light layer of the whole thing. And then you can start at the top and just darken up the top half. Don't bring your pencil all the way down. But you can layer up the top half to make it a little, can you even see that gradation? You can make it a little bit darker, like his eyeball is going darker to the lighter value at the bottom. Do you guys see that? From my point of view, the light's just reflecting it. Oops. How's that? Looks like Sish to you. Heck yeah. And you can even do another little line under there for a wrinkle. Up to you. Oh, I forgot to show you guys his smile. So at that little point that we came up, just add a line there. And look, he's already just smiling so much cutier. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out if I should color it first or if I should like... I feel like I should value it, like shade it with you guys first, and then I'll put some marker over top of that. Oh, I'm forgetting so many things. <laughs> He's not quite done yet. There's a couple other things, like in his ears. He's got those cute little, like, cutaways, and it's literally just a triangle. And then you erase this line. Hello, Swolf. How are you? Check that out, look, easy. Made that cute little cutout by just doing a little triangle. And same down here, this other one's a little bit lower for him. Triangle, me. And erase the line, and now it's in his ear forever. You like my drawing, it looks very nice. Thank you. Wait till you see everyone who's following along at home, too. Okay. Okay, let's go. You guys send in your pictures, people. Feel free to send in. Uh, send in your pictures of your little stitches so that I can show everyone. And we'll start uh, um, uh, shading him a little bit. I have to just fix where these circles go. I can never draw like that. I'm a terrible drawer. You're terrible at drawing. Uh, well, that's what we do here on the Tay Tay C channel. Every Tuesday and Thursday, you'll either learn to draw or paint something. Step by step. And you can do it. I promise. That's my teacher guarantee. So while people are sending in some photos, I am just going to show you a couple spots of where we're going to darken up. And again, it's kind of like when I teach you on the paint nights. Um, be very conscious of the direction of your pencil. So see, like, when I'm coloring in this spot, I'm just going left, right, left, right, left, right. Like, I'm not going up and down. I'm not changing my directions. I'm being very conscious of the direction of my pencil. It just keeps it a little bit cleaner. But I'm just going in around that tongue, and we are just coloring in. Lily, how's your Satan stitch going? That's who we haven't heard from in a while. No Scaring that in. Already coloring in that mouth has made a big difference, hey? And the best way to darken it up, of course you press a little bit harder on your pencil, but it's layering your pencils that will help you get your dark. So we went over with all the same, and now in the spots you want a little bit darker, you go back on, press a little bit harder. Not too hard, but a little bit harder. And you go just where you want those dark layers to go. The painter, you just mix the color darker. That's just it's a little different for uh, painting versus drawing.
All right. See, just darkening up the higher parts. To make that mouth pop. It's getting pretty evil in here, I guess. Alright, let's see where else we... It's hard, I should have chose a photo that has a very obvious, like, light source. Um, the tough one about this is it kind of looks like he's lit from above. It's not like a left or right thing like I usually teach you guys. Um, so we'll just try to figure it out the easiest way that we can, okay? So let's say if the sun is kind of coming at him from the top-ish, that means the bottom of his nose should be a little darker, okay? So I'm going to go very lightly with my paint. <laughs> I just about said paintbrush with my pencils and you can kind of mock the shape of the bottom of his nose right like it's not a straight line I'm kind of curving it left and right to kind of mock that shape and I'm just darkening up the bottom half of his nose and I'm going to get really light as I get to the top and then don't worry about the top you can even do it again start at the bottom get a little bit darker at the bottom Keep following the shape of the nose, and then come up. You can even use your finger to give her a little blend at the top if you want. Oh, hello, Phase Mac. I've been great, thank you. Just painting away. Just kidding, we're drawing away today. Okay, and then since again, the light is coming from the top, part of his tongue would be covered because part of the top of his mouth would cover it, would, or would shade it, cast a shadow so we're going to take the top part of the tongue and again you're going to kind of mock the shape of it's going in again always go lighter because it's easier to add more color value than take away how are you doing face but again we don't want it to be as dark as the mouth that we've already like the inside of his mouth right but we don't want it to be pure white because that doesn't really make sense you rather draw on paper than painting. See, that's what, that's why I did Tuesdays as draw nights now because there's way more people that can draw on paper or want to draw on paper versus have paints and want to paint. So, don't worry. Every Tuesday, Tuesday, don't you forget it. But again, see, we just colored a little bit of the tongue. That would be covered by the mouth. The top of his mouth, I mean, sorry. Thursday's your kind of night. Heck, yeah. I mean, Tuesday. Why did I read Thursday? <laughs> um, yes, guys, Tuesdays, as I like to call them, um, will continue to be drawing. Thursdays will continue to be painting. Okay, and where else do we got a shade? So his big head going over his body would be a little bit darker as well too. So we'll follow that base of his head and we're same thing. The beauty about a, pin, a piece of paper is you can really move it around however you need the way you're going. But you are just gonna follow that face again really lightly. We're just going left to right or up and down, whatever way you decide, but I would choose one to start. Uh, can we do a Studio Ghibli character? Yeah, 9,000% we can. Same as Pay Nights. So you guys have a suggestion, suggestion, just send me a DM on Instagram. You see my Instagram is the same as my caffeine and everything. Okay. And a little under his armpit, duh. Right? Right, right, right. And then... A little under his head there too. Claude! Love this app. Heck yeah. Are you new to caffeine? Or are you just still loving it from the beginning? Welcome to my stream either way. Hey guys, I'm coloring some darker into his ears too. 
Very new. Hey, well, welcome to the platform. We love newbies. Hey, to be honest, I'm not that OG either. I've only been here for about, what has it been? It's been like eight months. Okay, maybe I have been here a little while. Eight months? But every stream I'm meeting new people. There's so many cool things to find on the app. Yeah, look, everyone's giving a shout out to Claude. Look how friendly everyone is, just welcoming. I love it. Okay, so we got some of his ear colored in. We've got a little bit under his head colored in. Obviously, his big ball of a head would be given a little bit of shadow on his arm, so you can bring a little bit out there. Just a little bit on there. Again, you can like rub it in if you want. Ooh, my little dirty finger got too dirty. I just love stitch. And then on the bottom of his arm, on his little booty underneath that, that little popped hand, little sass hand, and some more at the bottom. Again, you have, if you have the reference photo, this is kind of when you, if you don't understand lighting or don't know where the lighting or the shadows or the value should go, look at your reference pincer, picture, <laughs> pincher. Take a good squint at it and you should be able to see the darker areas versus the lighter areas and just copy it. That's what drawing's all about, right? <laughs> okay. And then what are we doing? I forgot that he actually has little toenails too, which are basically just extensions of those circles that we've already drawn to make toes. Just a little ways out, do you see that? Same on this side. One, two, and another. Okay. We've got a little smile. We've got his nose in there. Realistically, there is some value under his eyes as well. If you want to put a little bit of shading down there and a little bit of shading down here. Okay, should we go look at the group and see who sent in some pictures of some stitches? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, uh, where am I at? How do I do this? <laughs> I forgot <laughs> how to art. Okay, not how to art, how to stream. Here's my little hot dog arm again. Let's see if the PC can handle this, because remember that it was having a little bit of a stroke earlier today. Worst comes to worst, I'll just show you guys on my phone like I usually do. I mean, like I used to do, not usually do. I just don't know what is the computer's problemo. Oh, and my camera's just slightly swaying. Last time, I don't know if you guys, did we talk about this already today? I don't even remember. Um, I had the camera attached to my water bottle right here when we did the draw night of the Satan. And um, I put it, I had my coffee cup was underneath it and we were chatting about something, who knows. And I elbowed or shouldered the water bottle and it smashed the coffee cup onto the ground. And then the whole stream, every time I moved, the camera would like shake because it was like attached to the table that I was on. And it was just a disaster. So at least today, I feel like we've, the quality has risen. I could be wrong though. <laughs> it still could be a mess. <laughs> okay, let me see. Come on, Instagram. It's just loading. I'm just wasting time while uh, this figures itself out. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> it's very weird that it is lagging so hard. I'm freezing lots too. Am I freezing just? Am I freezing just now that um, I? Uh, have been trying to open Instagram. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> PCs suck, you guys. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, oh, it's an earthquake. Okay. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna stop. And it's not. It's so weird. Okay, well. It kills me because I hate showing it on my phone, but I can do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. Oh, I hope you guys can see this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I gotta move myself first, though. I just gotta come hang out down here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> There's Instagram. Let's bring it to the top. Can you guys see that? Am I still lagging? How's that? <laughs> I'm just like, where else can I go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're good. Okay, look at that. Um, uh, he is so cute. I'm so proud. We, we've got the evil one coming, actually, as well, right now. Oh, my God, Lily. <laughs> you guys, here's the evil one. Uh, damn, Lou, that's good. That's good. Dying, you've nailed it. The bloody footprints. Lily, you should start streaming your own horror themed madness. I love it. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I love it, literally. <laughs> Everyone loves it. What else do we got? What else do we got? Did anybody else send any in? You guys. I know there's other ones out there. Oh, Nakoda, I only saw yours at drawing at shape mode, and it looked great at that spot. Oh, wow. See, like, Instagram just decided to say no. Nope. Weird. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, this is just melting down, so we've got those two in there. I see three more. Let me know if you got... We're just gonna... Get rid of that because uh, that wasn't helping no one. Whoop, here, I'm back up here. I don't know why it just decided to not work. Scary sketch night with Lily only on caffeine. Hey, there you go. You should. Why wouldn't you? Girl, you should stream. Take Tasty on tour. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so we've got a little stitchy here. It is complete. Hey, what about Jenny and Jersey? Did you guys draw a little stitchy? Um, I'm just darkening up some of these lines there. Oh my god, I'm so proud of those two at least that you sent. You guys. Hey, you guys. Okay, so here's our stitchy. If you want to make him look like he's on the ground, you just draw the line starting a little bit. Oh, sorry, I'm in the right way. Jenny and Charles, hey, that's okay. We still love having it. All right, you're just gonna shade or value in. Um. A little shadow off the side. And let's bring it out the left hand side. Okay. How's that? He is cute, isn't he? Okay, and how should I color him? Should I color him with markers or with. What did I color last time? I think I colored it with Prisma markers. Just a little key. Um, let me see. I'm literally still in my pajamas, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if you, okay, you can't see when I stand up. Whoop. Um, 
Markers or pencil crayons? Maybe we'll do pencil crayon. Prisma? Okay, cool. Let's do prisma markers. Fine. That works. That's good. I'm kind of locked in here with cords and wires. Okay, he is blue. What type of blue? This blue? Maybe? Cutie jar worthy. Heck yeah. Let's get... What other colors do we got? We need like a pink. I probably should have prepared this beforehand. But we're just gonna go for it. Quarantine chic, yeah. My boxers literally say nice on them. Over and over and over again. Okay, I might not have the best colors for it, but we're just gonna see how this goes. With some of that. Okay, sure. Do I have like a, let's see. No, not, no, you're, I was gonna color him. I, I, uh, it's not your, it's not your fault. I just wasn't prepared, it's my fault. We're doing it live, literally. Okay, I just need to like test out. Oh, this is a perfect color, but it's dying. Well, that's a good color. Oh, this one. COVID fashion, literally, literally. Um, kind of. Sure, we're just going for it. Mm, that's pretty, whatever, whatever. His ears are kind of like purple. He's kind of like purpley. Whatever, that's fine. We're gonna just go live. Literally. You know you're on a designer onesie marathon. <laughs> that does not surprise me at all. I'm not happy with my prism color markers. I'm sorry, I'm doing it pencil crayon. Where is that though? That's question number five. Where are my pencil crayons? Here they are. Okay, we're going for it. Because I'm too nitpicky to not color him right. <laughs> okay. So again, when you are coloring things, whether it's markers, pencils, pencil crayons, paint, it's always good to be conscious of your direction. Um, it really helps do some work for you if you stick to going in one direction or following the shape or the direction of the shape that you're in. So see how I'm curving the line to match with the shapes of the ear in the first place? They don't even look like color to you. Let me see, there's some pink in there. How's that for a purple ear? And see, it's nice since we already did the shading with the pencil, it kind of like does some work for you, which is nice. Some of these are Prismacolor pencil crowns, so I'm still kind of doing what acid request is. <laughs> Oh, my face is behind the camera. I didn't realize. Okay. Oh, and I hit it. Ha <laughs> ha! Guys, we're never going to have a perfect stream with me ever. Just so you guys know. Same with pencil crayons. You can push a little harder to get a little darker value. You can go over the same spot with a couple different layers to get in the values that you want. There we go. 
Okay. He's got purple ears and maybe a little purple in his mouth. I would highly suggest to erase parts that you don't want to see without uh, before you pencil crayon over top of them. He's so happy, but he should be wearing a mask. <laughs> he should be. Sorry, I didn't make him appropriate for the times. Great stream. See you and work together. Ow. Thanks. It is kind of a cool, different little setup to have it this way. I just feel so small and far away from you. Hello, Duncan. I'm doing great. We just drew a super cutie little stitch here. How can you have a bad day with this cute little face? Oh, you guys can like read my text messages. I just noticed that. Um, what do my hand tattoos mean? They don't mean loads. The Saturn is for my boyfriend, Dan. Um, he is, I call him my spaceman. He has a huge telescope and a lot of our relationship we've like one of our first Valentine's days, we went to a uh, observatory with his telescope and we like t showed kids how to see Saturn in his telescope. And then like the background of his phone for years and years and years was um, the picture of Saturn that we took from the telescope. So I did put this here for him because it's something that I, it's like the place that I look at and I see the most. And then these are just decorative, purely decorative. I uh, have always just hated my small chubby little hands <laughs> not hated but I'm not like a jewelry wearer ever so I've just been like one to tattoo jewelry on me so like my ear too I don't know if you guys can see from this far away but I've like tattooed stuff on my ear like as little jewelry like just decorative basically um just because I'm not the type of girl who can uh Remember to put jewelry on every day. I just suck at it. <laughs> My bum is still big. I love that. I, I read it as bun. That's so funny. I didn't even see it say bum. <laughs> hey, the bun always got to be big. That's what's stopping me from uh, cutting my hair again is because I, I miss the bun too much. No, that's, don't say sorry. That's hilarious. My bum also is big. <laughs> uh, Okay, so I'm just kind of like, sorry, I'm not really teaching you guys the color part. I guess I probably should. I am just going around what color looks like stitch, probably this one. Okay. Yeah, we're just layering. So I'm starting, especially with pencil crayons, it is a whole lot of layering. It's a whole lot of following the shape that you are already coloring in, following the shape direction, I mean. Always be conscious. I was gonna say brush strokes, but you know these aren't brush strokes. <laughs> But again, sometimes if you got that pencil under there, it's kind of done some of the work for you, which is nice. The thing that's different with pencil crayoning versus like painting and stuff that we usually do is that you can't paint, you can't pencil crayon lighter on top. So when I paint, I paint dark to light, which I like to do, um, cause it's just easier than blending and coloring. Um, but when it comes to coloring, I don't have that luxury of drawing too dark and being able to lighten that space up. Sometimes you can kind of erase it with an eraser, but um, it'll never look as nice as you want it to. So when you're coloring, you have to be very conscious of where are the lights, where are the darks, so that you don't color too dark in the light spots. Unless you go back in with paint after, which you can do. Multimedia is a, is a thing. But... Uh, Multi? Did I say multimedia? I'm gonna do just the top above his little eyebrow. I'm coloring in there. And then again, I'm consciously following the shape of the bubble, his head bubble that he's in. 
I mean, that he has. His head is a bubble. Sorry, guys. My brain. Literally, this is me as a child. I colored everything, and my brain just shuts off when I color. I just... It's a very soothing thing for me. <laughs> so having to talk at the same time is difficult. <laughs> And again, pressure. Go light at first because it's easier to add more than to take away. It's almost impossible to take away your pencil crayons, okay? That is a good question. What is everyone's favorite Disney movie? We did talk about it earlier. Acid helped me that to remember that Goofy movie is for sure, for sure my favorite Disney movie. I love it. Out on the open road. And the Sasquatch listens to like staying alive. Sorry guys, I don't can like if you if you are putting Disney and Pixar together in one, no Disney movie will win. Pixar always wins for me. But I just like don't consider I know Disney bought Pixar, but I don't consider them the same. <laughs> Mulan is so good. Mulan's a good one. Nemo. Of course, because that's Pixar. <laughs> Everything Pixar touches is gold. <laughs> Ooh, Snow White. I, oh, I haven't seen Snow White in so long. I gotta get Disney Plus back. That's a... Uh, Lady and the Tramp. That's a good one. The original Dumbo, you guys. That's a good one. What's Barbara? <laughs> When's Barbara on Disney Plus? <laughs> Guys, I need, I need my momager to figure that out for me. Probably not anytime soon when they see me just like exploiting, teaching people how to draw their characters. <laughs> I never know if this is actually allowed or not. Do you think this is bad? Do you think they could get mad at me for teaching you guys how to draw it? I'm not really profiting off of it. Hashtag ads. Yeah, I'm just advertising for them, okay? And I'm kind of doing the same thing as uh, I was with the pencil. I'm just going harder and darker and more layers in the spots that I want the blue to be darker. Okay? See what I'm saying? I'm even darken up those little nose wrinkles. Yeah, it does say. It does have credit in there. I'm not saying that he's my character, I just thought people would like him. <laughs> and same thing here, I'm just going down his arm. I'm trying to go a little faster, even though, hey, it's like 8.30, we finished, we painted Stitch in an hour. Maybe we can do like multiple characters next time then, I can do like first hour one character, second half one character or something. But again, this is the beauty of drawing with paper. I love that you can just move it everywhere you can. Obviously, in painting, you have that option too, but when it's really big, it's harder. When you're working on an easel, it's not as natural to think to move it around. I'm just talking about me being fussy. I'll 145%. With pencil crayons, I'm, it's so hard to make it smooth. And y'all sassy. <laughs> oh, I know you're right. I'm being a sassy little gal. <laughs> Momager, exactly. Momager, mooager. <laughs> All the above. <laughs> so if she's your mom, does that make her my mom momagers? My mom's momager? How does that work? <laughs> I always laugh thinking about people watching the YouTubes later, just like <laughs> hearing all you regular guys' names all the time. <laughs> They know you, you guys. They know you now. Momager over two. <laughs> I love that. 
Look at him coming along. Oh, of course, I need a sharpener. Eh. No, we're just, we're going for it. Similar to painting, it's all about pressure. Lighter to darker, you can like see. If I go light and then press harder while I get to the end, it gets a nice darker value. Love you both. Love you too, mama. <laughs> We're all so close, but yet so far. <laughs> okay, blue, put that value in there. It's funny though, even if I was painting this with, uh, or drawing this, or coloring it in, sorry, wowza. Um, if I was coloring it in with the Prisma markers, I have to go over like six times too because I can't see, I hate seeing the, uh, <laughs> the lines. I like it to be smooth. And you're the fusser. Hey, fusser for different things. Are you kidding? Everyone who is at the paint night for caffeine knows. That you're fussy too, okay? <laughs> Slowly mixing the perfect color. <laughs> Still painting 20 minutes after everybody else is done. Okay, there's a little darker leg. Again, I would teach you guys, uh, I would teach you more about like how to shade or value or why we shade. Um, it's just literally, <laughs> It's just too much to get into when we're doing one-off classes. Um, but I try to teach you just a straightforward way. But if you're more interested in that, I highly, highly, there's YouTube videos, take a class. I just want to teach you guys basics and get you like realizing that you, anybody can paint anything. Putin Uni is a specific color, okay? Yeah, he what? <laughs> Hey, that's fair. That's fair. And talking Mona Lisa stories. Mona Lisa stories? A cat stories. Is that what you mean? Okay. He's getting there. Hey, what's everyone's favorite Pixar movie then? Because we gotta talk about that. Obviously my favorite is up, but I have, I have many. <laughs> Brave, yes, Brave is such a good one. And the animation is, the animation and the story is so well done. Coco was really well done. Obviously all the Monsters, Inks, Monsters, Inks and Monster University, amazing. So good. Ratatouille. A Bug's Life? Toy Story? You guys, I just... When I was in my... What was it? Was it my first year of university? Maybe second year of university? Uh, my mom brought me to... Um, New York for a Pixar workshop. And it was amazing. It was like one full day of... Um, like a storyboard artist. One full day of an animator. And one full day of a character designer. And like all I wanted to do was be a character designer for Pixar. I still, I still do. Who am I kidding? At some point in my life, I'll work for Pixar. But um, it just even set into stone how amazing of a company they are. And they don't even really like hiring young people because they like to hire people with like life experience. So they like want you to go and like live your life and and uh, experience things and come to them a little bit later in life and uh, create like amazing stories. Like Toy Story, the director, every Toy Story that came out, it was like his personal experience with his kids. So like he had kids and his kids had toys and that's what he thought. He's like, what if these toys came to life? And then like the next one is like his kids get a little older, right? And they don't care about their toys as much. And then the next one's like they go to college, right? It's like very, so we made another movie about it. So they're all like very personal. 
stories, and I love that. I think that's crazy. Maybe they'll see this and be like, yes, we want you. Ah! Flamingo. Shut up, Pixar. <laughs> it's sad because the stream that I talked about crying about not getting into Pixar, <laughs> I didn't post that on YouTube. I think it's recorded, but I didn't post it. But, uh, yeah, I tried to go to Pixar when I was in. Where did I put that back? Where did that go? I lost it. Whenever we were in San Francisco, I tried to go to Pixar and uh, didn't know that it was a closed, what do you call it? A closed uh, set. <laughs> and I bawled and bawled and bawled and bawled. Full adults crying to the man to let me in and he would do. <laughs> okay, so now his tummy is a lighter color. <laughs> yeah. I was like, please, I have a tattoo. They're my favorite. I want to work here one day. It's like, you got to know somebody in here. So I just cried. And then Dan, sweet Daniel, walked me around the whole facility looking for somebody to work. Somebody that works there that would let us in as I was just crying. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Walking around. <laughs> You try to get Jersey in there too? Ah, uh, see, it's, they're very deceiving on their website. Like it says they're a closed studio. So you just assume like, okay, the studio area would be closed to the public, but they have like a gift shop and stuff. So you'd think like, oh, of course the public people should be allowed in there. No, 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 the gift shop is just, just for the people that work there. <laughs> so great. You're gonna do your best to make it happen, Justin. I'll cry even harder. <laughs> okay, good old layering. Like, oops, I kind of made that darker than I wanted to, and there's nothing I can do, but it's so great. Okay. And here. The colors that you guys are seeing look way more similar together than they actually do on my page. That's life. I'm going to, one thing, I don't know, Charles, I don't know if they told you when you tried to get in, but here, like I said, I was just bawling like a little baby. And I like showed him like my tattoo <laughs> to try to guilt him into letting me in. And he's like, oh, I can't let you in, but you know, the ice cream shop at the, uh, or ice cream shop. Yeah, at the end of up, <clears throat> at the end of up, they go for ice cream to an ice cream place called Fenton's. And it is based off of a real ice cream shop that is in Emeryville? Is that where it is? Emeryville? Not too far away from the studio, so he like told us where the ice cream shop was, where Fenton's is. And uh, we went there to eat ice cream after we walked around, sad. And I cried eating the ice cream the whole time too. <laughs> Good memories. There's a picture of me outside the front of Pixar just doing this with my hands up, but just cry. <laughs> it's good memory. It's good memory. Oh, my poor Daniel. He was so sweet. He just like hates when I cry. So he was just trying so hard to do it. <laughs> and I'm just like an adult crying over Pixar. It was fine. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. So now the piece de resistance. To finish this cutie. Well, sorry. Oops, I gotta color his nose first. But I'm gonna ink him out. I'm gonna like with a black pen. Um, color the outline so it just kind of brings everything up a little bit. It sucks because I'm. <laughs> Can you guys kind of see these like subtle darker lines throughout it? Because I'm coloring on cardboard. And that's just me being nitpicky again, I'll shut up. <laughs> okay, how's that nose go? Is this a good color? Sure. Mm-hmm, says Justin. <laughs> hey, that's fine. Nothing wrong with me being nitpicky, okay? Let's get that nose in there.
I remember a girl, Kelsey, I don't know if Lily's still here, but one of our friends, Kelsey from art school, she did a project fully in pencil crayon and it took her like disgustingly long disgustingly long because she wanted like everything had to be smooth like our teacher wouldn't let her have any like weird lines in it and it took her <laughs> so many so many countless hours because she would have to go one way and then another way and then circular like little circular bead motions to like smooth out all the little inner things that were wrong it was just i'll never forget except for i guess i did forget as i like go here to i Use pencil crown here. Nail, 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 nail. Okay. Let me ink him out and it'll look like a whole new... <sighs> Baby, where's my pen at? Here we go. Let's see if this one will work. Actually, no, that's a lie. We're not using that one. Come on, so far away. So close, but so far. I should see how I had to rearrange this studio to make everything fit in here. Okay. Let's go with B. Where are you at, boy? He's already a cutie. He is already a cutie. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with some ink. And we're literally just going to go over all the lines that we drew originally. Easy peasy. Except for I literally can't breathe when I do this, so I'll just have to. Because <laughs> I'm a very shaky, very shaky hand to the human, okay? I don't like, look at that. Oop. Um... So usually, when I do outlines, I have to hold my breath. <laughs> and that's why I'm not a very precise um, painter drawer because it would drive me crazy to make all my lines smooth. Yeah, I don't think this song is not copyrighted. I don't know why it's on my playlist. Let's get that little eyebrow in there. Mm. Yeah, not really steady hand. Try steady hand. So I'm using a brush pen, so it's all very similar. If you guys have ever been to one of my paint nights and I talk about um, pressure on the brush. It's the same on this pen. I can push hard and my outlines will be darker. If I press really lightly, they'll be very thin. Oops, that line wasn't, that's not a tooth. Don't need to outline that one. That one's just supposed to be black, whereas my pencil is just darken that space up. Sure, there we go. My watch is telling me that it's time to stand. Been sitting too long? Again, just because of my ADD, I jump around the drawing all the time. <laughs> I have a hard time just doing one spot. Like when I, I don't know, I'm sure you guys have seen 
different type of art time lapses and different artists on Instagram and stuff, how they show their process. And there's some that, like, for example, let's see. Let me just do this quick here. So they have this picture of Stitch, for example. And there's no right or wrong, by the way. This is just what I do and don't do. Um, they have this picture of Stitch, and they're painting him. And they would take out their blues and all the colors they have, and they would start down here, and they just slowly color everything perfect as they go. So then, like, all the details, everything. And then by the time they get to this top corner, the Stitch is done. But it's very tedious because you have to take out different colors. You have to mix them at different times to match all throughout. But they just, like, that's how some people like to work. They like to work small in one spot and complete it before they go to the next one. And for me, that would like, oops, drive me absolutely mental. <laughs> so for me, as you guys see with Paint Knife before, I would color this whole thing blue. Like color, you take out that color, color all of it blue. And then you color all of it a different shade. And you come over here and do all these little spots as you go throughout, instead of like sticking to one and through. It's for sure just like how your brain works. Um, but I just find it like whenever I see artists doing like, small spots and filling up or like painting a face and starting with like just the nose and just coloring in the nose and then like filling it out as they go I'm just like wow you are very patient I am not <laughs> oops that's a wrinkly line that little nail in there I'm all about a little bit outwards. Yeah, that's see, that's you. No, I'm, I can't do that. Both my mind. I'm like, okay, I'm bored of this one spot. On to the next one. Oh, wait, back over there. It makes more sense. <laughs> okay. Get that a little bit. Get those little banana nails. Get that little 80s chest hair in there. Oh, and his eyeballs, right. And his reflecty. Look at that little baby. Maybe over there too. And then let's color in those eyeballs, I guess, hey? Kidding, I'm probably just gonna color in the whole thing. I'll leave a little bit at the bottom. So it looked good. Thanks, acid. Makes me laugh calling you acid. <laughs> Oops, why did I do that? Just ignore that spot. I love the Tuesday Doodle Nights, Svengali! Thank you. Guys, thanks for liking my new show. I do too. I'm just gonna color this part in. It's just so much more casual than painting, I feel like. And it's fun to do these like recognizable characters. I haven't decided who we'll do next week, but Guys, this is literally how I started drawing. I, um, I used to, my sister would trace, again, I always tell this story and I laugh because Jen would probably be so pissed if I, she knew I just tell it all the time. But um, she is a lot older than me and she would trace, her friends would like trace VHS covers of Disney movies. That's aging us a little bit. It's probably some of you guys who've never seen a VHS disc, <laughs> or disc, I just called it a VHS disc, that's how not right it is. Um, and uh, and I was a lot younger, but I would draw them myself. And that's how I like knew that I was like good at drawing from the beginning. So this, like drawing these like Disney characters really brings me back to my roots personally. Um, painting's too messy for you. Hey, that's, I respect that. I respect that. 
I'm just a messy gal. It's funny, I'm actually a big, I'm very contradictory. I, like, I hate food that makes your hands messy, like wings. Like, I like wings, but I don't like when your hands get messy with food. But then I'll have, like, paint on my hands and fingers and whatever for days, and that doesn't bother me, but... <laughs> Months after Tay was here, I found glitter and paint. <laughs> yeah, not a surprise. <laughs> I did have to work when I came, so yeah, for sure there's paint. And the glitter just comes with, comes with me. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> okay. Glitter's okay. You're okay with glitter. I'm surprised. Most people hate glitter. I think it was called the Herpes of Arts and Crafts more than once. Okay, guys, is that a little stitcheroo? I'm just getting touchy, obviously, story of my life. Um, oh, that's the wrong color. Oh, we gotta go for it now. This is like the perfect color for him. Oh, well. Not herpes. <laughs> you like glitter, but not herpes. Respect. <laughs> Sorry to the people who are watching this with their children, who have to teach them what herpes is now. <laughs> okay. The only complaint with coloring is that it cramps your hand. Okay, respect, I get that. Um, see, and this is why, this is why I picked up, I was always a drawer, always a drawer my whole life. I like to draw, sketch, doodle, whatever. But I picked up painting very quickly because of how lazy I am. <laughs> Just kidding. But because, um, so like you said, like you have to like color this spot for so long, color this same little spot over and over again. You have to be like very calm, like very careful, make sure that you're doing it nice and right. And it takes a long time and it's tedious. But then painting, you're literally just like, and your colors like you one paint stroke and that whole part is shaded that whole part is colored like done easy easy respect yeah see yeah i'm lazy and painting makes it a lot easier do you work with chalk or coal so i have um you know talking about messy i personally hate working with not hate but i am an artist that's all about like fixing your mistakes <laughs> and with chalk and coal not only is it messy but like you could swipe over one thing wrong and your like painting or drawing is ruined and i just can't handle that i can't handle the like how touchy it is and how precious it is uh it really stresses me out so i haven't in years i choose not to sometimes i'll use chalk um to map out big drawings like <clears throat> big paintings like let's see if you guys can like, do you see this, uh, um, Bob Marley up here? He's like a 36 by 36 inch canvas. And I, when you're that close, as an artist, you're that close to the page, you can't see the whole thing at once. Like, right now, I'm looking at this stitch, and I can see everything at one time. So as I'm drawing it out, it's easy for me to, like, map out and draw it per perfectly compared to all the other aspects of him or other parts of him. But when you're painting something really big, you can't see everything at one time. So sometimes I need to project things when they're that big. Um, and then I would use like a chalk to just lightly like map out where all this, like where the shape will go. And then it's easier for me to draw it through those points, if that makes sense. So only on really huge paintings do I need to map out. Usually I just freehand everything. But on big ones, uh, I'll use chalk or like a watercolor pencil crayon or something to map that out. Okay. But if you don't like painting and you like coal or chalk, that's contradictory. <laughs> if you don't like painting because it's messy, I mean. I find chalk so messy. Okay. Aw, he's looking pretty cute. Chalk and glitter, <laughs> he'll take it. Oh, and you have a left hand. Oh, hey, that's fair. Left-handed makes all that even more difficult. You're crazy. Also, I'm actually not fully done. I'm going to be a jerk about it because I know I said that you can't put 
white on top with pencil crayons, but you can with paint. Uh, with paint. Whatever, make that bigger. Let's uh, wear some highlights on him. I'm just being a touchy jerk right now, you guys. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with you, acid. I'm just kidding. Alright. But I'm glad you guys are liking Tuesday Doodle Day. I know I wish I did it during the day because Doodle Day just sounds so much better, but <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Doodle night and paint night are cool. Hey, that's, you're right. That's true. I think we've listened to this uh, playlist more than once. Sorry, guys. You guys know I'm a sucker for a white highlight. It just makes the day. So that's what we're doing here. All right, Stitcheroo. Oh, a Tay-Tay, yeah. I thought you said put a Tay-Tay signature, but I'll do that too. But yeah, a white highlight is a Tay signature. Every painting ends with a pure white on my brush. Put that in there. Okay. And then a Tay-Tay signature. I know that's not what you meant, but we're going for it anyway. Here we go, folks. How to draw Stitcheroo. He's pretty cute. I hate pencil crayon with all my life. <laughs> but he's cute. Oh my gosh, my laptop is going to die. Why? You need to be plugged in. Oh, there we go. Oh, wash the water. I know I've spilled so many things. Good thing we're not in a water zone, but uh, here we go. Eh. I guess that does make sense. It might, you guys see it better down here. <laughs> there we go. Little stitch. Thanks for coming to the first draw night. Doodle night. 10 out of 10. Aw, oh, thanks for the props, you guys. Yeah, I'm pumped on him. Oh. Get that shadow out of the way. Where's the drawing I did yesterday? Here's my... I drew this in like... It was like my two-minute sketch trying to figure out how to draw it for you guys. And here's the finito. I love it. Good night, you guys. Thanks again. I, of course, didn't make my little thing for tomorrow. Um, we're back Thursday. Paint night, the usual. To Thursday, 8 p.m. We are painting this adorable... Let's get that out of there. We are painting an adorable... Oh, no, I didn't show... Part of me is nervous to try this again, but I got some more stitches sent in. Oh god, it's gonna make me uh, lag again, I think. I don't know why it just hates me so much here. But I got, like I said, I got some more uh, little guys in. Yes, Justin is right. Tuesdays are doodle nights. Thursdays, paint nights. Saturday, studio chill. And this Saturday, I'm painting someone from URL, but I'm not telling you who. You guys just have to show up. What did I say? 4 p.m. Mountain Time on Saturday. Oh, my Lanta. I'll just show you guys on my phone here. Because this doesn't want to work. We'll have to figure out the computer problems here after. Can you guys see? Look at that little cutie! 
Nailed it. It's obviously not. Come on, you can focus. Sorry, I can't show you guys my computer. It's being dumb. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this picture that they sent as well. Come on, focus. Oh, it's gone. Oh, the burgers. This is the picture. This is literally where they are in this picture. That's where I am crying in my picture. <laughs> I love that. Okay, who else did I get? Oh, you colored yours in too. But cramped. That's You said your hands got cramped. I know, hey, isn't it so annoying? But he turned out so cute. Look at that. Who else did we get? Any other ones in there? Let's see. All right, you guys. I tink that shit dash all. Um, whatever. What's my usual spiel? Follow me on like Instagram and stuff. <laughs> Instagram, you'll find me all day, every day, sharing my day-to-day -day art life with you. Um, what else do we got? Follow me on YouTube if you miss a live, which I hope you don't. You can watch them on YouTube. You'll never miss it. Um, but other than that, see you on Thursday, okay? 8 p.m. You will feel free to send me in any requests. If you have any character requests, remember we're not. We didn't call it Disney Day just to, just to be nice and not get in trouble with copyright for any reasons. But then that means any character at all we can bring to the mix, okay? doesn't have to be Disney. It could be Nintendo. I got some requests for Yoshi. He's a really great shaped whatever little guy. He's easy to do. Um, and stuff like that. Black Yoshi? Hey, you can color him whatever color you want. That's the beauty of it. I'll show you how to draw him. Color him whatever you'd like. Okay? All right, you guys. Thanks for everything. You always mean the world to me. Um, love that you're coming and enjoying my new shows and my new stuff. Pretty cool. Can't complain. Okay? So, catch you Thursday. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Bye, guys.